Hello everyone, Ben here, and today we are actually going to start work on the um, on the castle in this Let's Build a Castle episode. We are going to be building a the bell tower first. Okay, those were the son of a which it's also going to have some defensive capabilities. Um, because I don't think it's right to not have that. Um, okay, that should be good. And we just need to raise this up to the level. And this is the level that I've determined is going to be the floor level for the castle. So all floors are going to start here. And depending on how tall this tower is, I may um, extend the walls of it a little bit. That way it actually looks like it might be a reasonable thickness. Because I'm going to try and make this as realistic as possible. The other thing I need to do is figure out how it's how people are going to get up. Um, use these. Internally is internal walls. Okay. If I was to put in a spiral stair, that is where it would be. But something tells me I can reach it from other areas of the castle. Hmm. Or I could put the stairs here. No, that wouldn't work. I... Here might be good. This might... Yeah, I think this is a good location. It's too high. And... Uh, I'll check to see, okay. So this is where the floor level is for the next floor. Okay, so don't actually need, oops. Okay, there we go. So that's as high as it's gonna go. It's not, you know, absolutely so. Okay, well, we're not putting the door here, then. I have to determine where to put the door. That both makes sense, or the entrance, where not only does it make sense, but... It um, functions well with the rest of the design. Actually, this might be a good location. Honestly, I wish I could put the inverted stair here. 
I could do it here. And I will get the door. And of course we're going to be using spruce doors. There we go. And I'll worry about lighting it and doing the interiors later. Um, now, and that's more just because I want to do, I'm going to, you know, build the exteriors. I think I'll do each individual part. Like, I'll do the bell tower, and then I'll do the, um, and then I'll do something else, and then I'll do something else. You get the point. There we go. I think this needs to go up two level, two or three levels. Let's make sure we can actually, nope. That clearly didn't go the way I anticipated it to, but I suppose since it's pushed up right against the wall, it's four, one, two, three, four. It can still work. Yeah, you'll just be hitting, eh. But I will need to put in like, this is going to have to be a tower of reasonable height in addition to having the bell tower part. I'm debating whether or not to put a turret somewhere. I'm probably going to be putting turrets in some parts of the castle as well as catwalks. You know, I could also have this be kind of like a, a religious temple as well. Yeah, that is the only issue. Where I put it, but... And it's what I have. So, of course, designing a castle like this, I've, I've never done one that's pre-planned out. I've always kind of, like, in this much detail, I've kind of just been like, okay, well, we'll build this here, and then we'll build this here, and then just kind of expanded it. However, this time I decided, well, let's do this correctly. There we go. Oops, those can't be there. Okay, so... Here is where we have the actual bell tower part of the bell tower. Which can be used both to signal, you know, someone's attacking as well as, uh, you know, religious stuff, or, you know, the death of the king, or, you know, stuff like that. Okay, so I brought it up one level.
two levels. I think this is two levels. And I guess I'll bring it up. Well, let's see how tall that is. Because this does need to be the tallest part of the castle. Here's a little hill right here that'll work just great as a lookout. Uh, definitely needs to be taller. Honestly, I could have made this taller. It's tempting. I will say that much. But... But this needs to be at least two levels taller. I want to get the exterior done today and then I'll do the interior tomorrow. Or next week. And yes, I know I need to build it up one higher. Okay, there we go. There we go. Now what I'm actually going to do is knock out one, two, and then we're going to flip these out, and we're going to put these here. Just as a way of Because the bell has to be able to be heard from outside of the t <laughs> There we go. And... Now... We put our roof on. This definitely needs a roof. Um, oh, and I need to get a log. We're just gonna use this one. We're gonna put it here for now. And this is all because we need to support the roof. I'm not sure how tall it's gonna be, but I'm probably going to put a second uh, thing there to support it. Okay. That's not where that goes. Go. Makes it easier. And then we can go on the underside. The underside for the undertaker. That's of course a joke. Um, <laughs> I don't actually watch pro wrestling. <laughs> and we're gonna leave that in. No. No, actually, we need to leave those just so we have, you know, the place where you put the things that you tug on them from, on the bells from. from. Uh, So, oops. And of course, that's going to give us space. Three, one, two, three, two, three. And the next level, we're going to go up two, I think. Okay, actually, it turns out we don't need to add in the extra supports. There we go. There we go, and then we can go up two on this one. And the reason why I'm doing it like this is that we get the idea that it's sloped and oftentimes on towers like this 
uh, that is what would be. So we go up three, and then we're just going to put the half slab there. And that looks appropriate. Let's go far back. See how tall it looks. Yep, that's a reasonable height. And now the tough part is we're going to need to add, at least on this part, um, both crenellations and machicolations. Uh, I've been watching too much of, uh, okay, so that's how it goes. There we go. Oops. And that's how that's going to look like. Because you want to be protected when you shoot it. You know, shoot out. I, I don't understand why people don't make their machicolations like this when they actually do put them on castles in Minecraft. So, of course, the next one needs to be... Okay, that didn't make any sense. We're gonna get this and we're gonna go here, here, here. Because the next one needs to be like this. And I can't put the next one like there, so we're gonna just go here. Um, Cause that's the only way I can get it to actually work and unfortunately I don't have the ability to make the machicolations you know the way you would probably want them and that's mostly because this is round and that's really hard to do but it's what I've got um, and back here, I'm also not going to do that. I'm just going to put, you know, regular crenellations back here. I did them in the wrong order. Terrific. Even though they would be difficult to, admittedly difficult to use. Um, in this spot. And of course, here is going to be a way to get in from uh, the gatehouse. And of course, actually, that may be a bit of a... No, that... Uh, I think this is going to be a, a taller defensive tower right here. Defensive spot. Not positive. Tempted to also put a defensive tower here. You know what? We're going to go ahead and do that. Just a small one. And I know I'm just, you know, saying, okay, well, let's add a random tower here. I think in this case, it's an okay decision to do. because here it'll help overlook whoever's um, trying to get into the castle. But this is kind of how, at least from what I understand of castles, something that would normally happen is, you know, they start off with a castle and then, and I actually measured that really nicely. I didn't put it perfect, but who needs perfect? Actually, I could. Um, they would often, you know, have the one part built and then all of a sudden they decide they're going to add more and just upgrade the castle. Okay, so that's the center point. And that's five. Yeah.
go. Let's make sure that's, nope. There we go. There we go. And I know I'm adding this when I said I was going to be working on the bell tower, but um, the bell tower exterior is pretty much done. The next uh, episode we're going to do, which is going to be uh, next Wednesday, I am going to add detailing and, you know, work on the interior and probably dress this up a tiny bit. Just so it doesn't look so plain. I'm tempted to actually frame it. I wonder what, what that would look like if I framed it. <sighs> anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys next time and hope you had a nice day. See you next time. Bye.